Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I am going to walk you through everything that you get with Bob's Tall Tales, at least for the Scorched Earth side of things. All of the engrams that you get, the bonus things, and why there's some really overpowered things in there, which it's awesome. I mean, personally, I think it's worth it because, I mean, some people are like, well, why would I have to pay more money for this game? Yeah, I mean, with the number of hours that I have put into this game, it's probably worth my time and worth my investment. Um, plus, it's, you know, in the long run, it's getting me content that I enjoy playing with, so that's why I do it. I understand why some people don't want to, so don't hate on me for that. I get it. I totally do. But personally, I think it's awesome. So let's go ahead and get started with this stuff. Now, just so you can see, these are the specific engrams that you're going to unlock. There's even a Bob's Tall Tales thing that you will show you everything. And it's a ton of skins. There are some actual structures and creatures, however. But that being said, just so you can see, this is uh, pretty much everything that you need to see. Yeah, so that's that. So there's a lot of really cool skins, in my opinion. I really like the Drifter skins, so I'm going to go ahead and play as those. I know some people like the Outlaw boots, the Outlaw hat, the Outlaw pants, all those kinds of things. But in my opinion, this is pretty dope. Now, Frontier Structures skin is also pretty neat and then yeah those are those are the main skins that you're going to get however the rest of the stuff is either a skin that adds something to it or it's going to actually give you the generic like resource or whatever it happens to be right so scaffolding this is basically going to uh, you can see that provides structural integrity without completely blocking an area so basically this is going to allow you to make a door people can't get or that larger things can't get through that someone can get through it's very weird it's it's kind of funky i'll show you that i'm going to show you these on the ground in just a second too uh, the shootable bottle obviously pretty cool uh, target practice coffin literally functions as a bed which is super cool um, and then obviously you can see coffin placed horizontally or vertically acts as a respawn point for you um, pretty neat and then this this is also just placeable wherever by the way you can just plop it on the ground which is super cool a saloon chair, just a chair. The swivels, uh, stool, same thing. Spin around for funsies. Uh, saloon table looks uh, it's just like these are just neat things, right? Now you get into some of the cool stuff. So you got the shovel, which is going to allow you to give a boost to your crop plots, burying treasure, and then finding underground water in the case of an emergency, which is pretty cool. We'll talk about that in a second. And then you've got an actual treasure chest. Now, this is a, you can see it right there, small wood storage box can be buried for extra security. Pretty freaking cool. Allows you to bury things. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Basically hiding loot, which is going to give people, I mean, especially in PvP, that's a huge thing. Um, a drawing paper, pretty cool. This is going to be really cool. Platform uh, cart is basically going to be able to be pulled by many creatures. I'll show you what it looks like in a second here. Sign, this is like an, a Western style sign. Uh, barrel storage, and this is a cool one. It slows a spoiling of contents, and it serves as like a small barrel that you can actually use, which is obviously a nice thing. Um, now, and it's a hiding place. I, I haven't figured that one out yet. But poker table, this is pretty cool. Tournament style or sit and go with up to six players. It's a legitimate poker table, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is going to be a unique one. The town bell, by the way, it, it's a loud noise, quieter when hit, but can also be used to make nearby tames defend the area aggressively. So it's like a J whistle, basically. Um, and you just have to use it, but and then you've got fancy armchair and sofa, nothing to me. Uh, yeah, so that's just a thing. Plant pots. This one is, you can see, hold almost any flora from the arcs can be changed to appear as a plant in a crop plot. So it's adjustable. And I've got a feeling that might be a little bit something special to this one when it comes to tamings and things in the game, but we'll see. Uh, piano, obviously, a volume and range settings. Lamps is a warmth and lamp. Train engines, I'm literally standing on it, but I'll show you all these, don't worry. The water reservoir, huge structure for a reservoir, um, and it basically you can store rain or manually deposit water. Very useful on this map specifically. Windmill reduces fuel consumption and heat damage of nearby gas generators, which is really useful, obviously. Um, is more effective at higher wind speeds and works at low wind speeds. So basically, it's going to reduce your fuel consumption, which is really cool. Um, and then obviously your dynamite skin, which is super cool as well. So I'm standing on some of this stuff right now. The train tracks. This is obviously you can see it right here. I'm not going to go in depth about everything because I'll have, you know, videos where you can actually see that in later videos. But you can drive these and kind of go all over the map with the trains, which is really cool. You can place the actual train tracks down as well. Uh, shootable bottles these are pretty neat so you can kind of like plop them down and you can kind of just change what they uh this is northern comfort scorched gut 
pickle chicken bottle, and then the wild dodo. They're pretty funny, in my opinion. Now, you can place them down, and then obviously you can shoot these, and they will pop and give you a little satisfying pop, which is kind of cool. Um, the coffin, just like I told you earlier, is a usable thing right here, and you can place these down. And uh, yeah, pretty unique. They are like that. And then obviously you can do a vertical one too. What I think is super cool about this is you can see right now that I can fast travel and it serves as a bed. You can also capture a snapshot of your character and place a person in there, which is really creepy, but you know, I'm not gonna go super far into that. Uh, hanging wooden sign, it's a small uh, sign, but you can see it out there, pretty neat. Uh, the barrel storage, this is unique, right? Um, you can see that if I go ahead and use this, I can hide inside of this, which is interesting. It's like a creature almost but uh and then you can kind of hit e and you pop out of the actual barrel storage but you can also as your inventory uh store items inside of it it's got a pretty big list in there which is kind of cool it just makes more things for arc and i like more things for arc uh then they've got the town bell right sound the alarm and then it's going to send everything nearby to actual uh, aggressive and you can see sound the alarm, ring bell, show alarm range, and then it's got a big chunky range. Uh, you can, can't really see it super well. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead, this is really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this stops, stop. You know, whatever, I'm gonna walk away from it. So the alarm is going off, right? So that's uh, telling all my creatures to freak out. And then you've got the fancy armchair, the fancy sofa, and you can obviously sit on the fancy sofa or the fancy armchair. And then the plant pot, it looks like this. You can see it replace it with a crop plot or you can just hold E on it. You can also kind of like look at it right now and uh, let's see here, rename, pick up, replace with crop plot. And then let's see here, there we go. Then you just change it back and forth, right? Now it can hold all of the local fauna. That's something that we'll kind of have to walk through. We got the piano, obviously. Why can't I place it? Well, I'll place it on the back of something. Uh, Frontier lamp, this is kind of cool. You can see this big old lamp. Uh, it contains organic fuel to light fire. So oil, right? Lights and warms the immediate area, which is pretty cool. I like that. I think that's a fun little change to things. There's the trains. This is the water reservoir, which irrigates a massive zone. It's going to naturally pull water from nearby. Um, and you, you can see this use water items or rain to fill up the tank or place it to a connected permanent water storage. Now it is a massive water source. You can see how big this thing is, pretty cool. 25,000 health, now that is uh, wood health, so keep that in mind. This one, another one of those cool items, right? It's another functionality item, it's the windmill. This guy is going to give you access to everything I just told you in, in higher speeds. It's gonna actually reduce the amount of stuff that you're using in order to power things. This is going to be a very good thing for pretty much any tribe. Windmills should be 100% had. Uh, dynamite skin, this is funny in my opinion. I'm like, look at this. <laughs> you can throw dynamite down. Look at that. Boop. Still functions like normal C4, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much everything. Obviously, there are the, the creature that comes with it, the Oasisaur. Um, but pretty cool stuff. I'm not going to complain about it. I think it's really, really neat that they added all this stuff. I understand that some people are upset with the fact that it is a little bit of a, how do I say this, A to win a little bit. Um, but I don't know if someone's going to drop this if you can use it or if you can use something that your tribe mate puts down. I got a feeling that's going to be the case. Um, basically, you're going to, in order to craft it, in order to have it in your own world, you have to have access to it. I don't know what it'll be like for people that don't have it that are playing on it because it's supposed to be embedded into the game so it should work but again i don't know totally so don't hold me for uh, accountable for that um but again there's a lot of really cool things and that's everything you get with the bob's tail so far you i don't know i think they're going to keep it so if you pay for this one you get for the aberration and the uh, extinction but we will see and i know there's some really cool stuff and again this is all stuff that i'm pretty sure they're testing to see what arc is capable of to see if they can push it into Arc 2. Now, again, who knows? Maybe they'll release Arc 2 this year. I'd put it at unlikely, but it's possible technically. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.